Good evening, baseball fans, and welcome to Oakland, California, as we are here in the Coliseum for 2016 opening day between the Oakland Athletics, who will be playing host to the Chicago White Sox to boot off their 2016 campaign. This is an Athletics team that had quite a bit of struggles last year as they traded away Josh Donaldson, a couple other key pieces after trying to make a postseason run in 2014 that ended in a wild card game. So here in 2015, they traded away a bunch of players and had quite a down season as they finished 21st in the MLB and ERA with a 4.14, 30th in saves with 28, 12th in walks allowed and 18th in home runs allowed as they just were not a very good team last season. But they are looking to rebound that here in this season against the Chicago White Sox here on opening day. And the White Sox opening day lineup is as follows. Leading things off in right field is Adam Eaton, followed by left fielder Melky Cabrera. First baseman Jose Abreu in the cleanup spot is the newly acquired third baseman Todd Frazier. Catching is Deanna Navarro. Second baseman Brett Lawry. Shortstop Jimmy Rollins. DH Avisal Garcia. And then in center, hitting ninth is Austin Jackson. While on the mound for the Athletics is Sonny Gray. Their ace, their full blown ace 14 and 7 last year with a 2.73 era in 31 games started got him an all-star bid the former first round pick out of the university of vanderbilt and adam eaton will dig into the batter's box to lead off this ball game in the top half of the first the right fielder for the chicago white Sox. as the first pitch of the ball game from sonny gray is taken for a ball as the season is underway 2-0 count now to eaton here comes the pitch from gray as that's going to be lofted up into semi, semi deep left field. Davis is camped under it as he'll retire that one for the first out of the season. Chris Davis, the newly acquired left fielder for this Oakland Athletics team. As Melky Cabrera digs in now, hitting second in the lineup. First pitch to him is taken outside for a ball. Change up, got away from Gray there, so 1-1 one, one count now. Gray sets, kicks, and fires the 1-1 one, one, as it's a ground ball to second base. Fielded by Lowry, he'll toss over to first, and that retires Cabrera for the second out of the inning. As now with two outs, Jose Abreu, the Cuban slugger, will dig into the batter's box. As the first pitch of the AB is on its way from Sonny Gray, as that's taken down and away. Change up got away from Gray, so it's a 2-0 count now. Here comes the pitch from Gray, as that's a chopped... Bats and dribbled over the first base, caught by Kana, Kana as he'll step on the first base, and that will retire Jose Abreu for the third out of the inning. And that will wrap things up here in this top half of the first. Nothing, nothing, White Sox and Athletics. Welcome back to the bottom half of the first inning here on opening day. The Oakland Athletics lineup is as follows. In center field is Billy Burns, followed by third baseman Danny Valencia, DH Billy Butler. Chris Davis is cleaning things up. Shortstop Marcus Simeon hitting fifth. Center Stephen Vogt, second base Brett or Jed Lowry, right field Josh Reddick, and first baseman Mark Canna is rounding things out. While on the mound for the White Sox is left-hander Chris Sale. The Beanstalk 6'6", 180. He finished 13-11 and 11 last year with a 3.41 ERA in 31 games started. He led the major leagues with 274 Ks in 208 innings pitched. And leading off the year for the Oakland Athletics is Billy Burns digging in the batter's box, playing center field in the day. As Sale gets set to deliver the first pitch of his season as that's taken inside for strike one. So Cat runs to full now on Billy Burns. And de Sale delivers as that's going to be taken opposite way into right field and it'll land in front of Eaton as that's going to be a single to lead off the season for Billy Burns. He'll take his base hit and that's exactly what you want from your leadoff hitter. Works the count and gets on base. So that brings up the third baseman, Danny Valencia, who was a midseason pickup off waivers from the Toronto Blue Jays last year. And the A's liked him and they kept him. So he takes his first pitch for a ball. Count runs full on him. Here comes the 3-2 as that's taken opposite way into right field. It's got a chance and it lands fair. Billy Burns heads the third base. Valencia is going to head to second, but the throw to the cutoff man is able to get Valencia at second as they gun him down as he made a base running mistake there, but Burns gets to third base. And now that brings up Billy Butler, the DH on the day. Here comes the first pitch at him, taken for a changeup low in the zone, 0-1 count. Runs to 0-2, Burns at third base. Here comes the pitch as Butler whiffs through that one. Drop third strike, toss over to first as he's retired for the second out of the inning. 
as Burns has to hold up at third base. So that brings up the cleanup hitter and Chris Davis, the former Milwaukee Brewer. As Sale will deliver this first pitch to him as that's blocked in front of Navarro as the pitch is in the dirt. He'll just look down Burns as he retreats back to third base. So Kent runs the 3-1 on Davis. Here comes the pitch as that's given a ride at the deep center field. Back goes Jackson. He's at the wall. Gives it a leap, and it's over the fence. Chris Davis, two-run shot to start off his season. His first day B of the 2016 season is a two-run shot to dead center field. And just like that, it's 2-0 athletics as Marcus Semyon comes to the plate now as he pops this one up to shallow right field. Retreating for that one is the second baseman, Brett Lawry, the former athletic will retire as that will end this bottom half of the first inning. The score is 2-0 Oakland over the Chicago White Sox. Welcome back to the top half of the third inning. Oakland still up 2-0 as Jimmy Rollins digs into the batter's box. The veteran shortstop traded last year to the Dodgers from the Phillies. Now finds himself with the White Sox as he takes the first pitch of the A.B. Up and in for strike one. Cat runs the 2-2 now on the veteran Rollins. Here comes the pitch from Sonny Gray. As that's turned on to deep right field, that one's out of here. Jimmy Rollins still has the strength to take that one into the deck in right field. As that's a solo shot for J-Roll. 400 plus feet is first of the season. And that's going to be a 2-1 ball game now thanks to Jimmy Rollins. Oakland's still in the lead. Now first pitch here to Avisal Garcia. He's going to be fouled off into the left field seats down the third baseline. 1-1 one, one count now to Garcia. The kick and the pitch from Gray is granted to first base. Fielded by Canna. He'll step on the bag himself as that retires Garcia for the first out of the inning. So now with one out, Austin Jackson's going to be coming up to the plate, the center fielder. Here comes the pitch from Sonny Gray to start off the at-bat. That's taken for ball one. Slider gets away from the strike zone. Count runs the 2-1 now. Here comes the pitch from Sonny Gray. Kick and fires as that's popped up into shallow right field. Reddick's going to give that one chase as he retires Jackson for the second out of the inning. Reddick is able to retire that one on the run. Had to run a pretty long way as well, so now Adam Eaton digs in with two outs. Here comes the first pitch to him as that's taken for strike one. Slider. It's the zone. A one count to Eaton. The kick and the pitch from Gray is going to be popped up in a shallow left field. Semyon gives chase as a retire that pop fly as that's out number three. And at the end of this top half of the third inning, the Athletics will be up two to one after a solo shot from Jimmy Rollins. Welcome back to this bottom half of the fourth inning here between the Oakland Athletics and the Chicago White Sox. Oakland up two to one as Chris Davis digs into the batter's box with a home run in his last plate appearance. As he takes the first pitch from Sale down for ball one. So Kent runs the 1-0 on Davis. Here comes the pitch. As that's taken to deep left field, and that's out of here. You can kiss that one goodbye. Chris Davis, two at-bats in the 2016 season and two home runs. It's now a 3-1 Oakland lead over the Chicago White Sox. He's got two homers on the season, and that'll bring up Marcus Semien with the 1-2 one, one, count. Nobody out. Here comes the pitch. As that swung through, as Semien is diced up on the changeup, as Sale rebounds from giving up the home run to striking out the next batter. A nice quick rebound from Sale, as all, pitch, all great pitchers do. Next batter up is Steven Vogt as he fouls the first pitch off for strike one. Kent runs the 1-1. One, one. Now lefty on lefty. Here it comes. As that's a ground ball, the shortstop fielded by Rollins. So he'll have to fire this one, and he does across the infield. A little bit of a higher throw, but Abreu is able to catch it nonetheless. As that retires vote for out number two and brings up Jed Lowry, who flew out back in the second inning. Here comes the first pitch to Jed Lowry. As that's taken to left field, give it a decent ride, but it's going to be into the glove of Melky Cabrera as he retires that one for out number three of the inning. And at the end of four innings, it's going to be Oakland three, Chicago one at the end of four. Welcome back to this top half of the fifth inning as the former Oakland Athletic Brett Lawry will dig into the batter's box. The second baseman for the White Sox. 
Facing his former teammate, Gray, is the first pitch to him is in there for strike one. Change up, down, and away. Catches the zone. Here comes the 0-1 pitch from Gray now. As Laurie takes this one down the left field line, lands a few feet fair, that'll roll up against the wall. Davis gets to it rather quickly. Into the cutoff man goes the throw. And Brett Laurie has himself an easy double there. On that hard hit ball in the left field line, leads off the inning just how the White Sox want. So 0-2 count now on Jimmy Rollins with a runner on second. The pitch from Gray is granted to first base. Canna fields, steps in the bag himself as Rollins is retired, but Laurie moves up to third base with one out now. As the next batter up is Avicel Garcia, the DH on the day. He's 0 for 1 so far with a ground out back in the second. Runner on third is Laurie. Here comes the first pitch to Garcia, taken for a strike on the outside half. Cat runs the 0-2 now to Garcia. Gray sets the bell. Here comes the pitch. Ground ball to third base, fielded by Valen Valencia, fires across the diamond as the runner comes in to score on the sack RBI ground out. So Laurie comes in. It's a one run, one, one run ball game now. 3 2 Oakland lead. Runner on first as Adam Eaton digs in. First pitch to him is fouled off. Change up down and away. Count runs 1 2. Runner on first. Here comes the pitch. As that swung through, Sonny Gray picks up a strike out on the 12 6 curve. One of his deadliest pitches as Adam Eaton goes down swinging. And the A's hold on to their lead. It's a 3 2 Oakland lead over Chicago at the end of the top half of the fifth. Welcome back to the bottom half of the sixth inning as Chris Davis digs in with two outs and nobody on. He's got two home runs so far in the ball game, and this is his third at bat as the first pitch is taken for a strike on the outside half down and away. So the 0-1 pitch from Sale. Here it comes as Davis takes this one into center field that'll land in front of uh, in front of Jackson as Chris Davis is three for three on the day with two home runs and a single so far. As that brings up Marcus Semien, who's over two. Davis on first. Here comes the pitch to Semien. First pitch fouled off down the left field line. Lands around near the bullpen. So full count now to Semien. Here comes the pitch. As that's taken right up the middle, a rocket shot at the center field. As Davis moves up the second, Semien has himself a base hit. And now we have runners on first and second here with two outs for the Athletics. And Robin Ventura signals to his bullpen that he wants the left-hander, and that left-hander is Dan Jennings, as he will be replacing Chris Sale as that ends his day. First batter he'll face is Steven Vogt, the catcher. Lefty-on-lefty -lefty matchup. As first pitch taken for a strike down in the zone, two-seam fastball. A one count to Vogt. Here comes the pitch, as that's rocketed to right center field. It's got a chance, but it's going to land off the wall. One runner comes in to score. The second is Semi, and he's going to round third, head home. That's two RBI, but Vogt is going to get caught at third base as he got a little bit overzealous as he gets thrown out at third for the final out, but not before the two runs cross the plate as the Athletics extend their lead 5-2 over the White Sox here at the end of six. Welcome back to the top half of the ninth inning here in Oakland as Sean Doolittle's coming out of the bullpen to close this one out. Oakland up 5-2, a save situation. The left-hander out of Medford, New Jersey is where he went to high school, but he was born in South Dakota, drafted out of the University of Virginia as he faces another New Jersey high school player in Todd Frazier. As the first pitch to Frazier is taken for a strike down and away. 2-2 counting out of Frazier. Doolittle sets. Here comes the pitch. As that strike three taken up and in fastball, Frazier goes down with the backwards K as he'll walk back to the dugout and that walk of shame. Brings up Deanna Navarro, the catcher, 0 for 3 so far. Doolittle sets, delivers the first pitch, taken for ball one, change up out of the zone. Away, so 2-2 two, two count now. Here comes from Doolittle. Ground ball to first base, stepped on the bag from Canna. As that's going to be out number two in this top half of the ninth inning and the A's are one out away from stealing a victory here on opening day as the former athletic Brett Lawry is the White Sox last chance. First pitch is taken out on the outside half. Oh, one count runs the 1-2. Doolittle sets at the belt. Here comes the pitch. As that's going to be popped up into foul territory. First base side. Canna is under it. And he retires that one for the final out of the ballgame as the Oakland Athletics have sealed the victory here on opening day. Sonny Gray gets the W. Sean Doolittle gets the save. 
and the Oakland Athletics start their season off the way they want to, winning it, and they are now 1-0 on the season, while the Chicago White Sox drop to 0-1. Chris Davis, deservedly so, picks up player of the game honors for the Athletics. He went 3-for-3 three three on the day with two home runs, one of them being a two-run shot, one of them a solo shot, and then he also had a single, and it came across the home plate three times as well, as he was driven in by Steven Vogt, who had two RBI on a double, one for three, so one for three on the day for him. Valencia went two for four. Billy Burns one for four. Sonny Gray starts his season off 1-0, while Doolittle gets the first save of his season, and Chris Sale will get the loss as he starts his season off 0-1. Jimmy Rollins was really the only one who did anything for the White Sox as he had a shot in the right field seats back in the top half of the third inning. The veteran picking up his only hit of the day as the final score in this one is Oakland 5, Chicago 2. As of that being said, it's going to wrap things up here for this edition of Oakland Athletics Baseball. I've been your host, Jersey Born, and I'm saying goodbye. Huh. Look at them yo-yos, that's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. That ain't working. <laughs>